Hey Algebra 2, today we're going to be talking about negative exponents. Uh, what do we do with negative exponents? Well, our first problem I'm going to give you, it's 2 times 3 to the negative third. Now, we don't like negative exponents, so there must be some way to get rid of them. Um, so notice this here is in a numerator. This, we could write this over 1 if we wanted to. Um, the way we get rid of negative exponents is flip it to the denominator. If it's in the numerator, switch it to the denominator. But you only switch what's connected to the negative exponent. So the 2 is going to stay on top. And now we're going to flip this to where it's 3 to the positive 3. That's our goal. Again, the whole point of flipping it was to get rid of the negative. So now we can actually combine these. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 to the third is 27. 3 times 3 times 3. So this is your final answer. So again, if you have a negative exponent and it's in the numerator, you just switch it to the denominator and vice versa. As such, if I give you 4 over 5 to the negative 2, again, the 4 is not connected to the negative exponent, so don't move the 4. We're just going to move the 5 up to the numerator and make it a positive 2. So this gives us 4 times 25, because 5 squared. So your answer would be 100. So again, negative exponents, if it's in the denominator, move it to the numerator to make it positive. If it's in the numerator, move it to the denominator to make it positive. And only move what's connected to the negative exponent. So now let's throw some variables in there. So if I give you negative 4, x to the negative 2, y to the fourth times 3x to the ninth, y to the negative 7. So now we're going to do a couple steps here. So first we want to do is combine our variables with the exponents. So handle coefficients first. We have negative 4 times 3, which is negative 12. Now remember from our last lesson, when we have uh, exponents, but the same base when we're multiplying, we're going to add the exponents. So negative 2 plus 9 is 7, negative 2 plus 9. With the y's, we have 4 plus a negative 7, or 4 minus 7, which is a negative 3. But for our final answer, we don't want any negative exponents. Um, it's okay to have a negative out in front of a coefficient of the problem, but not as an exponent. So what we're going to do is rewrite this as negative 12x to the 7th, because those are good, because the exponent is positive, and we're going to flip the y to the 3rd to the bottom to make it a positive exponent. So this would be our final answer right here. Again, coefficients, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. You add the exponents of the same base. So x to the negative 2, x to the ninth becomes x to the 7th. 4 plus a negative 7 is negative 3. And then finally, we switch this to the bottom to get rid of that negative exponent. Okay? So let's, uh, let's try a problem that's a little bit tougher. Throw a little division problem in there. Negative 10, a to the 7th, b to the negative 2, c to the negative 3. I'm going to th throw a whole bunch of terms at you. 15, a to the negative 2 b to the negative 5, c to the 5th. Okay. My advice is to go ahead and just switch all the, switch all the uh, exponents to make them positive, well, all the ones that need to be switched. So we have here negative 10. Now this is a to the 7th is a positive 7, so you don't even need to move that. So you want to leave that. But notice this a is negative 2, so now we're going to move it up top to make it positive. The b's here, so I'm going to go ahead and write the 15 here. The b's, they're both negative, so just switch the positions to make them positive. b to the 5th, b to the 2nd. Now here, this c to the 5th is positive, so leave it in the denominator. Leave it where it's at, and we're going to bring this c to the 3rd down. Again, the whole point is get rid of the negative exponents. So now, what we can do is reduce out front. So we have a negative out in front. 10 over 15 reduces to 2 thirds. Okay, if you divide both by 5. So now let's deal with our variables. We have a to the 7th times a to the 2nd. So since they're multiplied, we add 
the exponent, so it comes a to the ninth. The b's, we have 5 on top, 2 on bottom, which leaves 3 on top, because 5 minus 2 is 3. And lastly, we have 2 positives on the bottom, so it's going to stay on the bottom. 5 plus 3 is 8. So this would be our final answer right here. Again, reduce the coefficients if you can. We had the a's here, so we, sorry, I'll start back here. Reduce, which we did. We uh, switched all the exponents to make them positive. So we switched all the ones that needed to be switched. If it's already positive, leave it. We left the a to the seventh in top. We left the c to the fifth on bottom. Then we switch positions of everything else. Now we can go ahead and combine. Seven plus two is nine. Five minus two, because it's division here, is three. And then we added the exponents on bottom to make c to the eighth. Okay? So again, with these, you want to just take it one step at a time. Now. Where it's actually used also in this is, um, is scientific notation. Scientific notation um, looks like this. 4.1 times 10 to the fourth. This is considered scientific notation. It's a number with only one decimal to the right times 10 to a certain power. But we're going to multiply that by 1.6 times... Oh, forgot the one. 1. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 7. Now, in scientific notation, these are not x's. Those are multiply. Okay? These are multiplication. Now, here's the directions that I'm going to give you. Write in ordinary notation. So therefore, I don't want your answer to be in scientific notation. I want it just to be a regular number, whether it be 586 or 0 0.0052. Uh, that's what ordinary notation is. So the first thing you're going to do is multiply the 4.1 times 1.6, which gives you 6.56 times, now 10 to the fourth, common bases, so we can add the exponents. So it gives us 10 to the negative 3. Now, the way we actually write this in ordinary notation is you're going to take your term here, 6.56. If it's a negative exponent, if it's a negative exponent, we're going to move the decimal to the left that many places. One, two, three. Throw in some zeros. So our final answer is 0 0.00656. That's what you do when you get a negative exponent is you move the decimal to the left. Okay, because really what you're doing, you're saying 6.56 uh, divided by 1,000. So that's why you're moving it over that many spaces. So let's do one more. Um, we have 12.3 times 10 to the negative 2 times 2.1 times 10 to the 7th. So now when I multiply these again, 12.3 times 2.1, do that first, you get 25.83. Now we have 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the 7th, which gives us 10 to the 5th, because negative 2 plus 7 is 5. Now that the exponent is positive, we're going to move it the other way. We're going to move it to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We fill in some zeros. So our final answer, right out here, throw some commas in, 2,583,000. That is the answer to that problem. Again, negative exponent, move it to the left. Positive exponent, move it to the right. Because again, what you're saying here is 25.83 times 100,000. That's how we got this right here. Okay. And let's do one last problem, we're done. We have 8.4 times 10 to the third over 2.1 times 10 to the negative two. So now we're actually doing division here, okay? Same, same directions, write this in ordinary notation. So just like we did here, 12.3 times 2.1, you're gonna do division here. 8.4 divided by 2.1 is four. Now here, 
Since it's a negative, we're going to move it to the top. So now you have 3 on top. You're going to move 2 more. So that becomes 10 to the 5th. Another way you can look at it is subtracting it. 3 minus negative 2. That becomes plus. That's how we got 5. Okay? So we have our 4. Sorry, I'll write it over here. And we're going to move the decimal over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our final answer is 4. Hundred thousand. So that is what we are doing when we are dealing with negative exponents. So again, up at the top, if you have a negative exponent, switch it. If it's in the numerator, put it in the denominator and make it a positive exponent. But only switch what it's attached to. It's attached to three, but not attached to the two. Here, it's in the denominator, so we move it to the top, and then we multiply. So from our last lesson, we learned that common bases, you add the exponents when you multiply common bases. So negative 2 plus 9 is 7. 4 plus negative 7 is negative 3. And our final answer, we just get rid of the negative exponents by uh, switching it from numerator to denominator or vice versa. And the same thing with dividing. We First, what I did is I moved, I switched all the negative exponents. So if it was in the denominator, I moved it to numerator and vice versa. And from there, I was able to combine. 7 plus 2 is 9, 5 minus 2 is 3, 5 plus 3 is 8. Get rid of those. Uh, uh, uh. So that is how you deal with negative exponents. Okay. Um, and scientific notation, multiply first, and then we do the same thing with the tens where we add the exponents. Negative exponent means you move it to the left. Positive exponent means you move it to the right. And we did the same thing here. We divided, subtracted the exponents, and then since it was a positive 5, we moved it to the right. So that is how you deal with negative exponents. So good luck with that. I hope uh, that made sense and hope you understood that. Have a good one.